Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a histogram as shown here using Python, specifically I'm using Python 3 in JupyterLab. I'm going to scroll all the way up. Uh, this is just a simple histogram, it's a bit like a bar chart uh, but then for a scale variable and usually we describe the shape of a histogram. Um, first we'll need an example data for that so I'm going to be using pandas because I want it as a pandas data frame and um, if you've never used pandas before you probably need to install it first uh, and then you can use import pandas the example file itself with a read csv it's a huge file which has some issues in some columns but that's just warnings and for the purpose of this video not of a big concern I like to use H, uh, that's uh, the column uh, of interest here because that's numeric or actually uh, I'm gonna drop the missing values. There's actually one category in there, 89 or older, so I'm going to replace that with simply 89 and we can debate all night long uh, whether or not that's appropriate to do, probably not, but okay. Um, change all values and then change all values to numeric, so that's what this actually is doing. Then, uh, to create the histogram itself, I'm going to be using matplotlib, uh, and that's from pyplot, and I'm going to import that as well. So, again, if you've not used uh, matplotlib pyplot before, then uh, you probably need to install it first. A quick Google search uh, should help out there. Then the histogram, finally, itself. Uh, there's an hist comment, for short for histogram. I select the field that I, uh, the age that I made. You can pick a color that you like. Uh, you can set an edge color, um, and uh, uh, the LW uh, is short for the line width. So, how big of a line do you actually want? Um, the X labels are the ages, and the Y label uh, is frequency. I always like to label um, axes as uh, as needed. Uh, by default, the number of bins is set to 10. You can change this, by the way, in a few different ways. You can just set a number yourself by saying bins equals uh, and then a integer. So now I have 8 bins. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, you can also choose among a different other methods. So you can use auto or uh, FD. Uh, you can use Duane's method, Scott, Stone. So there are, there are plenty of different people and methods to um, that hopefully decide on a so-called optimal number of bins. So for example, if I would set it to Sturgis, the bins, it will use Sturgis rule. And in case you were wondering, Sturgis rule is um, is the log base 2 uh, out of n. Uh, this means to round up, basically, uh, plus 1. So uh, here's the formula for that, and it should therefore have 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, indeed 12 in my example. Uh, you can also use cutoff points, so then you say well 20 to 50 to 60 to 70 to 80 to 90 and then you have your own bins. Now notice here that I've used actually that this has an interval from 20 to 50 is an interval of 30, while 50 to 60 is an interval of 10. So, if you use something like that, um, you should actually use not frequencies, but frequency densities, because this uh, first category is huge, but also the width is comparably quite big to the other widths of this bin. So, just as with population density, we then should actually divide this frequency by the bin size, so we can use pyplot to do that for us where we set density to true and then it will simply uh, divide the frequency by the size of the bin so the upper uh, boundary minus the lower boundary and we don't have to do that ourselves it's built in in the histogram which i think is pretty nice because i haven't seen this option in um, in spss for example and it's kind of harder to do with uh, Excel. And that is all for now. There's plenty more that you can do. You can change the colors, etc. But I hope this gave a nice quick indication of how to create a histogram. 